What's going on? My name's Jay, and today I'm going to show you how to add and export subtitles in DaVinci Resolve. Let's take a look. If you're making videos for YouTube or clients or TV or really anywhere, you really should be using subtitles and especially TV because it's kind of a requirement. And I'll be honest, I'm not a huge fan of the process. There's just a whole bunch of parts of that whole subtitling thing that take too much time and are just a pain. Like for instance, transcribing your dialogue is a pain in the butt, unless of course, you have the money to pay somebody else to do it. Fortunately for you, as a DaVinci Resolve user, you can actually add subtitles pretty easily and export them even more easily. I've got some footage queued up. I'm gonna show you how to add subtitles, export them, and all that good stuff right now. Let's dive in. All right, here we are in DaVinci Resolve. We're in the edit page. I've got some footage queued up. Let's add some subtitles. It's actually really easy. You just come over to where your video tracks are, right click and hit add subtitle track. Then you'll go over into that subtitle track make sure your playhead is at the beginning of where you want that subtitle to go. Go ahead and right click, hit add subtitle. And by default, those subtitle clips are only three seconds long, but you can extend them or trim them just like you would any other clip. And to actually edit the subtitles really easy, just click on the subtitle, make sure it's selected, bring your playhead back to the beginning of that one subtitle clip. Go ahead and open up your inspector and you'll see you can start typing in, in the text box, this is a subtitle because I'm not feeling particularly creative today. And then if you wanna add another subtitle clip, you can go ahead and move your playhead to the end and there's two different things you can do. You can either right click and hit add subtitle and it'll add another one. Go ahead, change that. This is another subtitle. You see where I'm at today? This is where I'm at. Or alternatively, you can just hit add new and it'll add another one. And go ahead and edit that. And this is once again, another subtitle. So as you can see, you're gonna have to transcribe your audio. DaVinci Resolve doesn't do that for you, but if you paid somebody to do it, or you use the Google text-to-speech and Google Docs to do it, whatever it is, you can go ahead and just copy and paste in here, or you can just listen to it and type as you go. Now, let's say I don't like the way that these subtitles look. Maybe they look a little bit too boring for me or whatever. I can go over to track style, and I can go ahead and choose a different font if I want. Like, uh, I don't know, let's say AR Blanco. Why not? You can change your font face to be bold or italic or whatever. All the basic text things. You can have it be aligned left, aligned center. I always choose aligned center, by the way. I just think it looks better. You can change the position or the zoom or the opacity. You can add a drop shadow if you want. By default, this comes with a white stroke. You can change the color of the stroke. You can get rid of the stroke or you can increase the size of the stroke. You can even add a background. You can choose the color of the background itself, the outline. You can change the outline width, the width of the background, the height of the background, the corner radius, the center of the background, the opacity of the background, all of that stuff. And once all of your editing is complete and you have all your subtitles in there, you can go over to the deliver page. This will go ahead and export this as an H.264 master. Go ahead and give this a, a title. Call this subtitle example. Choose a location. Save. Export this as an MP4. If we come all the way down to the bottom of our export settings, we'll find the subtitle settings. Go ahead and hit that drop down, click export subtitle, and you can choose to export as a separate file or burn it into the video. Burning it into the video is pretty straightforward. It just means that when you play the video, the subtitles will be there. They won't, they're just part of the video. And if you're exporting for YouTube or for television or something like that, you're gonna wanna do it as a separate file. Go ahead and scroll down a little bit more. You can choose how you wanna export it. SRT is kind of the standard, but there's also WebVTT that you can use. And then you choose which subtitle track you wanna export. I only have one, so I'll just check the subtitle one box. Hit add to render queue and start render. 
By the way, I've got a bunch of other videos about DaVinci Resolve. They'll help you make better videos, do more creative edits. If you wanna check that out, that's linked right up here. And right down here, you'll find a video that YouTube thinks you should watch. And if you wanna learn more about video editing, camera gear, and how to make better videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.